If you want to be a great presenter and a great persuader, you've got to be a great listener. Let me give you an example of not good listening. A number of years ago, I was on the WCBS radio in New York. I got interviewed by a guy by the name of Joe Connolly. Now, I had been on the radio a couple times with him. We had some good interviews. So one day, I wrote him. I wanted to be on the radio again, and I wrote him an article on how to add attention getters to presentations or something like that. So I sent it to Joe, and I get him on the phone. I said, hey, Joe, I wanted to talk about how to add attention getters to great presentation, to make great presentations. And he said to me, well, I feel like we've kind of covered that already. So then what I erroneously do, I say, well, let me tell you why it's such a great idea. And again, he says, well, I don't know. I don't think that's what, what my listeners want to hear. And again, I say, yeah, but let me tell you why it's such a great idea. And then I realized, you're not listening too well, Kevin. So then I just changed the whole thing. And I said, Joe, what do your listeners want to hear? And he said, we need selling tips. So with that, I went back. I took basically the same article, and I reworked it. And within an hour, I sent it back to him as selling tips that his audience could, li could use. And that made the difference, and I got back on the radio. But I wasn't listening. I wasn't hearing what he was trying to tell me. So as a persuader and a presenter, you really got to listen. Years ago, I once read a, a, something in a book, and it said, there's a big difference between lightning and lightning bug. And if you don't let them get the word bug out, you're going to be answering the wrong question. So remember, when you're listening, let your, whoever's asking the question to get the whole question out so you really understand what it is they're getting at.